Here is Dawson himself, James Vanderbeek. James. <laughs> All right, so Dawson's Creek is the name of this town, right? Yes. But well, actually, it's not. The name of the town is Cape Side. It's Cape Side, but yeah. you're Dawson, so this creek is named after you? Uh, or, well, I'm not quite sure, actually. Nobody well, really knows. Why it's a is mystery. It, why is the show called Dawson's Creek? Well, it could very well be called Dawson's World. Yeah. If they wanted to make the, uh, you know, the, the But there is a the creek Separated from yeah. Boys Meets World. Right. Yeah. And right, how old so. are you supposed to be? Fifteen. And how old are you? Twenty. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to be twenty-one, like in a... Sunday. Sunday, yeah. right. Yeah. So now, what's going on with 15-year-olds in Dawson's Creek? What's on Too their little the minds? Think. What's on their minds? Um, basically, you know, it, it's what I like about the show is that it kind of, um, you know, the show's very honest. These characters speak very honestly about, um, you know, everything that 15-year-olds are waking up and dealing with every day. You know, relationships, the opposite sex, um, school, parents, school. Yeah, I mean, all that, dreams, aspirations. And are you one of the good guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I you, am. you must be the pivotal character because, after all, the creek is named after you. <laughs> you got to be the guy, I've right? Got, I've got to be somewhat redeeming. And yeah. you are the cute one. Now, so, come on, is that going to cause a little trouble? <laughs> the did, I am the cute one. <laughs> where did they find you, James? This is hysterical. Um, well, I started in uh, doing theater here in New York. Oh, really? And um, I was actually an English major at Drew University. At which? Uh, at Drew University? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and did you have a pretty normal upbringing? Yeah, very normal. I mean, I didn't, you know, get into the business until I was like 16. Yeah, so, so, you know, I went to high school. Mm -hmm. So this must be insanity, what you're going through now. It's absolutely nuts, yeah. Yeah, what's, yeah. It, what's it like if you, can you go to the mall? Can you go no, to the mall? No, I can't. <laughs> Neither can I. Neither I, can I, we. It's and I hate that. <laughs> I can't go to a mall without being mobbed. Yeah, I, I went to a... <laughs> I think we're going to find out more from him, Rich, you went to the mall and they chased you right off. Yeah, huh? yeah, they, they kicked me out of Abercrombie and Fitch because they were like creating a scene. <laughs> that's very, that's the rudest. I mean, I mean, they were they were very nice about it. They were just saying, you know, I've got to ring you up. I'm, I'm sorry. But you've got to leave Abercrombie and Fitch. As if. <laughs> we'll be right back in a moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, with James Vanderbeek of the. Uh, the very hot Dawson's Creek uh, television show. So what have you done now since fame has come to you and a few bucks as well? How have you spent your money? Um, I bought a guitar for myself. I'm kind really? of teaching myself how to play. Acoustical guitar? Uh -huh. yeah, or, yeah, acoustic, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm really not very good at all. Did you get a Martin? No, I got a, a Yamaha, actually. Ah. You didn't buy a new car or anything like that? I did get a, a car, actually. Ah. Although I really needed a car. I had he needed this... a place to keep his guitar. Yes, okay. right. <laughs> That's right. What'd you get? I got a, uh, a Toyota 4Runner. Uh huh. So it was kind of a step up from my, you know, 82 Hyundai <laughs> that I had. had I still uh, have an 82 Hyundai. <laughs> you got a problem with that? <laughs> well, no, I had extra ventilation, like right near the mm -hmm. gas pedal, there's a little hole. <laughs> And did you go through the audition game out there in Hollywood where you auditioned for everything? It's that maddening, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, especially in New York when I started, I was like 16. And I, I auditioned for like a year and a half before I got anything. For now, commercials and things like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I could not book a commercial to save my life. And did you just consider okay. giving up at that point or at any point? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. I mean, I commuted three hours in from Connecticut and then three hours back for like, you know, five minute Tell me about audition. it every day of my life, mister. Really? No, but anyway, but it's, so, it's rough. And then all yeah. the rejection. But well, why do you think yeah. you couldn't get a commercial? Um, you can't sell, you think? I, I guess. I mean, I, I just, I guess I took them too seriously, really. Oh, yeah? I mean, I'd sit there and, you know, really internalize how much I want these pops. And, <laughs> this isn't an Edward you know, Albee play, you know. I know, really. This is just a commercial. Really. But it was so good that, training for the Edward Albee play that you finally got. Right. Yeah. That was good. That, and, that, and that was what kind of kept me going, too. And when I finally got that and I realized, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do, not commercials necessarily. Good for you for sticking to it, because yes, a lot of people um, want instant success these days. Yeah. And it's funny. I mean, it's, you know, it's taken me four years to achieve overnight success, yeah. which is a short time. Well, well it only took us 30. Hey, 30, you're, you're 40 right. years. <laughs> We're going to come back and show you a clip from Dawson's Creek in a moment. And sister uh, down here from Connecticut to uh, cheer him on. And I nice just asked his mom if he ever went through a gawky stage. And, and he said, I'm still in my gawky stage. <laughs> well, so is Gelman, so don't worry about it. <laughs> now, um, you've got some weighty issues on your mind, but the clip you're going to show us 
is sort of a minor situation, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, most of them are minor situations. But, it's a it's but it's they really... don't seem minor to a teenager. Oh, no, it's the biggest thing in the world. And this clip, of Dawson's just found out that his girlfriend, Jen, has kissed her ex-boyfriend. That's it, pal. Uh, that's all I gotta hear. I'm Boy. furious. Let's roll that tape. <laughs> yeah! Girl power! <laughs> hey, James, thank you very, very much for being here. Good luck to you. On Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights. We'll be right back.